Watch you guys, if you want to back up your mobile phone, then this video is for you. We're going to be backing up this mobile phone to Acronis, and uh, we're going to be using Acronis True Image uh, 2020. So let's go to the Google Play Store here and type out Acronis so we can download the application. You see here Acronis True Image Mobile. Uh, click the Install button here. And uh, this is a really good uh, way of backing up all your mobile data, whether it be photos, contacts, whatever it is you want to back up videos, you can do it all with Acronis Mobile. So let's go ahead and install this and then open it up. And you can see a uh, welcome to Acronis Mobile and it asks you to set up your first backup. So click on the setup here and it will give you some options. There's three of them here. You can back up to a NAS drive if you have one. You can back up to the computer or you can back up to a Cronus Cloud, sign in and register to get a free five gigabyte uh, storage uh, with a Cronus Cloud. So I'm going to do this version. Now, if you haven't got an account, you will need to set one up. I've already got one, so I'm going to click on the already have an account sign in. Once you've got signed in, we can move on to the next step. So make sure you set up your account first. All you need is an email and a password and they will send some verification and you just have to authorize that to let it go through. So let's move on to the next stage of the setup. So the next stage is just signing in. And then once we're signed in, you get the option to back up your contacts, photos, videos, calendars and messages. And that's what we're going to do here. I'm not going to back up all of this. I just want to back up some photos here. And this is just my test phone here, which I use for tutorials. So that's what I'm going to be backing up here. I'm not going to bother with messages, but if you do want these, leave these ticked blue and you should be good to go. You can also encrypt the backup if you wish. You will need to give that backup uh, an encryption uh, password. So make sure you give it a nice strong password. Make sure you keep it safe because if you miss that, you're going to have trouble getting into your encrypted files. Once you've got the settings you want, hit the backup button and allow Acronis Mobile to access your photos and other media on the phone. This will start to prepare the backup. How long will this take? Well, it's going to depend on how many photos and other stuff you've got to go up to the cloud and how good your upload speed is. And there's loads of different things to take into account. So it's just going to be basically how much data you've got. Uh, and it will give you a rough sort of time how long it takes something like this won't take that long so I'm just going to let this upload to the server and uh, once this is done we'll come back so I've logged on to my account in the browser here on the computer and you can see here these are the uh, computers and stuff that I've used to upload uh, my data and you can see I've got a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus here there's a computer here, there's another one, and there's also the Mi Phone, which is what we're using right now. You can see we're at 37% backup. It does give you the date and time when you've backed up, and it's just starting to go up onto the cloud now. It's not quite finished yet. So let's head back over to the phone. You can see the backup is now completed, and it will give you the amount of data. Uh, that has been uploaded to the cloud. You've got a little cog here, you can click on this and it gives you some more information about select data to back up. And it also gives you the name of the backup, which is the Mi phone. And you can also delete your backup from here. You will need to put in your password uh, for your account to delete that. So let's go back over to the computer here. And you can see the status is now okay. It's now all been uploaded. And we can click on the cog here, recover, details and delete. They're the three items you got here. And we can also recover our data if we wanted to by clicking on the recover. And this will show you the data up on the cloud here. So you can see photos. I'm just going to click on photos because that's what we uploaded. We only uploaded uh, photos in this case. And you'll see a bunch of photos that's been uploaded to the cloud here. And uh, if you want to download these, you can download them. Uh, you can either download the whole archive if you wanted to, or you can download separate single files or photos uh, that you want to download if you uh, want to bring them onto the computer. So you can see here, uh, they're all listed here. So going back, if you want to go into the cog here and look at the details, let's just look at the details here, it gives you some information. 
Now go back inside the cog here. If I click on the delete, you will see delete the resource here. Now this is not going to delete all of the data on your cloud. You will just delete the device from here by clicking on delete. OK, so don't think that's actually deleting all your data. You can do that uh, with the cleanup tool uh, inside your cloud settings there. You'll be able to delete all those files. So let's go back here and uh, go to the recovery area and I'll show you how to quickly download some uh, content here. Now, if you want to download the whole archive here, you can do. You can see name here and also you can see photos here. If I wanted to download the whole archive, I can just uh, go over to the right hand side here and click the download and this will download the whole archive uh, of those photos in that folder if I wanted to do that. Now, if you want to download certain types of files, you can just uh, put the ticks in the little boxes here to download the certain types of files that you want to download and hit the download button and it will archive those and zip them up for you and let you download them. Now, these won't be compressed or anything like that. These will be the exact same size that you uploaded them. Uh, so they won't be compressed or anything like that. OK, so now remember, if you do want to remove all those files from the cloud, then I'll show you how to do that in another video. If you want to see that, let me know in the comment section. Delete the backup here from your mobile phone. All you'd need to do is hit the delete backup. And you can see here it's got my email address. You just have to hit the delete backup. It will ask you for your password before you delete the backup. And that's uh, pretty normal there because it wants authorization to delete your backup. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.